No, calm down. I did not spend £22 on an eyeliner. I bought the College Beauty gift with purchase uh, for summer 2019 and I got a £15 gift card with it. And I used that to buy the Huda Beauty Life Liner, which means that I got £15 off 22 and I only paid £7 for it. Score. Marvellous. And that is the only reason I'd have bought any eyeliner whatsoever. You know, £22. No, not my sort of thing. So it comes in this shite external plastic packaging, landfill, awful, they need to get back to cardboard. And they also have a makeup remover balm, 20 grams of it. Now this is proper cardboard packaging, they need to return to this stuff, 20 grams. And that costs 20 pounds. So we'll be testing this on this. And I'll be demoing this and doing wing liner. I'm klutzy, mind you. If I've done wing liner and it looks remotely decent, that means this thing has worked because I struggle with my wings, eyeliner wings. Now, obviously, for the purpose of this video, for the purpose of testing this out, I am not going to be applying mascara, false eyelashes or anything. It's just going to be eyeliner. I'll be demoing it in a minute. But first, about this product, diamond shaped. It is, yes, believe it or not. When you pull this, you get a pencil tip, like so. When you twist this, you get this with this tip. Now, while I am a liquid eyeliner junkie, and I definitely prefer it to all other forms, including gel liner, including the kind that comes in pots, uh, I prefer this sort of pen tip, you know, where you get this kind of felt tip, I prefer that to this kind of, you know, pot and brush tip. Because, you know, with the pot and brush tip, I'm clumsy and clumsy. This one, and I have unsteady hands, but this one is easier for me to get a straight, steady line than this. As a rule, we haven't tried it out with this one. I will be demoing this twice for you because my autofocus did not cooperate once. So I have two different demos for you to prove that it does work twice and the first time the first demo wasn't a fluke. This one is a lot easier because you know you can hold it right here while applying, right? On the other hand, you cannot hold this here. You'll get liner all over your fingers. You need there's there's a bigger gap between where you're holding it, between your grip and the tip. Bigger gap between grip and tip. So you know more room for error because of this kind of like image stabilization on your camera whereas this there's less gap between the grip and the tip less room for error less room for shaking the shade is very vanta which is extreme black now this claims to be long lasting waterproof smudge proof and intensely black and matte and is supposed to last for 48 hours and dries in approximately 60 seconds, depending on how thick your line is. The thicker your liner, the longer it will take to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch these for you first, uh, and then I'll do my first demo. Uh, and uh, Huda recommends starting outside, starting with the wing, which goes against my uh, instinct, because I start in the inner corner. But she recommends starting outside. Let's see if I get a better wing that way. And then she recommends going inwards, uh, to get your straight line and wing and I am going to be applying the pencil on my waterline so I'll just watch these first the pencil part first now I've done a few lipsticks here before so this I'm going to be used that's very 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 creamy but you know there are a bazillion other creamy pencils before I wouldn't call that special now this one comes out thick, gloopy, with product, lots of product, so you need to take off the excess like so, which is one of the things I don't love. On the other hand, if it were runny, would it perform the way it does? We don't know. So the liquid part, thick line first, and then the wing. See, I made a mistake. I'm applying with this hand, the left hand, and I'm a right-hander. So I'm going to do these on this hand once more because, you know, I can't get a steady line with my left hand. 
right, that is so much better. And now the liquid pot, thick line, thin line. Pencil, liquid thick line, liquid thin line. Liquid thin line, liquid thick line, and pencil. That's definitely very black, these two. This one, not as black as these two. And the thick line has dried now. And after drying, it is still as black as ever. Hang on, let me see if my focus works. Yep, that's better. Hello. Yeah, that's better. Uh, right, so the thick line has dried fully now, and it is still as black as ever, and it is matte. And I think the thin line has dried as well, and it is extremely black as well. Quite nice, that. Love the black. Very intense. Nicely pigmented. I'd say there's some gloopiness involved because of the excess product, so that is a problem that I have here. It's gloopy, you need to get off the excess back into the pot. Uh, off the tip, otherwise you get that. Or you can spread it out while applying, but you know, if you if you can't be asked, if you're rushed in the mornings, then that could be a problem. So demo next. So the first time I did this demo, it, uh, you know, autofocus did not work. It chose to focus on my mirror, my handheld mirror, rather than on my eyelids, so it looks a bit wonky, but you know, just to show you how it turned out, very quickly, here's the demo. Here's a demo with proper focus. So that was surprisingly easy and you know it is the first time that I've managed a decent wing starting from outside like that uh, and you know it is also the first time I've managed a decent wing and you know a decent line not a wonky one with a you know a brush tip like that from a pot you know rather than a pen tip like this one that I showed you it doesn't you know clump up or anything it, it is quite even uh, there are eyeliners which apply clumpy. It doesn't fade out during the day. I have not tried applying it or testing it for 48 hours straight. I'm not mental. I'm not brave. Link KT, link in the description box below, wore it for 48 hours, the brave, brave, brave woman. I cannot do that. So if you want to see a 48 hour test and see what happened when she wore it, this eyeliner for 48 hours, off you go to Link's channel. She's brilliant. Absolutely admire her. However, here I'm not going to wear it for 48 hours. I'm just going to tell you, you're going to have to take my word for it. It lasts well through a work day until I choose to take it off. That is it. Now, let's see if this one is indeed waterproof. Off we go. So I've got the liquid on top and the pencil at the bottom and I'm going to open the tap. I'm going to need my other hand, so and that's holding up the camera. This is so awkward. So hang on a second.
Whoa, that is absolutely brilliant. Now we're going to try Bioderma. So I've got my Bioderma here. Hang on, my focus needs to work. Yes, here it is. Right, so I'm going to pour the Bioderma over this rather generously. Right. And so far nothing looks dislodged. Now I'm going to try moving it around a bit. The pencil, as you can see, is going, but the liquid is exactly as it used to be. No change whatsoever. Okay, I did expect it to move a bit with my saloon water. Now I'm going to rinse this off and then we'll try a, cle a proper cleanser. Let's see if it is soap proof as well. Now I'm going to try a foaming cleanser. This is from a Mimi box back in the dark ages. And I'm going to see what happens with it. So I've got the product on there. And now I'm going to try spreading it around with water. Let's turn that tap off and firm it up a bit. There's not too much lather. Now we'll try rinsing that off. And then turn off the tap. And yes, the pencil's faded even more and the liquid is intact with foaming cleanser. This is huge. Here we have a liquid eyeliner that is intact after foaming cleanser. Oh my God. Now, let's try an oil cleanser. I have with me Kuda Lis oil cleansing oil. Hang on, let me try and focus on that. Yes, that is Kuda Lis cleansing oil. And I'm going to pump Right, I've got two pumps of the cleansing oil on there and I'm going to spread it out a bit and see what happens. Okay, the pencil has fully gone and the liquid remains. It stands. Let's rinse this off. So there is some fading there. Hang on, I'll get the tap out of the way. So there is some fading there, particularly around those letters. But for the major part, the eyeliner is intact. Now we're going to have to try Huda's removing, makeup removing balm and Emma Hardy's. Both. Half uh, up to LIQ and the, the other product on the other half. So here's Emma Hardy and here's Huda's cleansing balm. So generous dollop of both. Emma Hardy on L and we'll be cleaning up to Q and uh, Huda's uh, cleansing balm on uh, U and uh, that will be cleansing the second half of this. Now let me try and spread that around. Okay, right. As you can see I'm rubbing as hard as possible. Yeah, now it is spreading. Right, now we know that the Huda cleansing balm will dislodge. Let's, let's see after wiping my fingers, if the Emma Hardy will dislodge it equally well. It does. It does, yes. So let's mix them up and do this properly. Rub a bit nicely. Yes, so it looks like the only solution is a cleansing balm of some sort and there is some redness on the first half. I am not allergic to Emma Hardy. I may have rubbed too hard there. That's possibly the reason I have skin that bruises very easily. So it shouldn't have rubbed that hard. I mean, given that I had an allergic reaction as uh, recently as last week, after accidentally ingesting wheat, my skin is rather sensitive at the moment. Right, so 
The only way of getting rid of this eyeliner is by using a cleansing balm. Now, I dare say there are cleansing oils that do the job well, but my lightweight emulsifying Kudali cleansing oil does not do the job, nor does the face shop rice water bright light oil do the job. So let's rinse this. And that is the situation. Let's see what else we have in store to get rid of this. Perhaps this little beauty can help. It is a cleansing milk from Cosa Rex. Yeah, that's the one. Let's see if that helps. So I've got a dollop of that on there. And let's spread that out a bit. Now I don't want to rub too hard and risk my skin bruising further. Or reddening further. You know, this is very, very, very waterproof. Very, you know, budge-proof, rather. You can't go to bed like that. Now, I'm going to try a thicker cleansing oil. Tata Harper's Nourishing Oil Cleanser. Hang on, let me focus. Yes, that's the one. So, just excuse me while I go off camera to get a few pumps of this thing on there. So, I've got a few pumps of Tata Harper's Cleansing Oil on there. And now, let me try and spread that out. I give up. This is awful. You, I can't spend the rest of my life looking like that, spotty-handed. Okay, I'm going to be spotty-handed for the rest of my life, unless I can get this off. So, I'm going to go right back with the Emma Hardy. And here we are. I think that is a generous amount. I actually don't use that much to cleanse my own face. Hang on, let me just focus that for you. Yeah. That's, you know, far more generous than what I use to take off my foundation. It's crazy. Oh, come on, move it. What am I supposed to use here? Acetone? Turpentine? Let's try doing this with the Huda Cleansing Balm and hope that I no longer look spotty-handed. Uh, or that I don't have to retire from public life as a result of looking spotty-handed. I think that helps. Well, I hope that helps. Oh, come on! Move it! Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to use my nails for this. Or a flannel cloth. Let's... No, I don't have a flannel cloth handy. Let's do a cotton pad instead. Yeah, I've got a few cotton pads here. Let's try wetting one and keep one dry. And then see if the wet one works. No, nope, doesn't help. No, it actually does help. But my arm is red. Like that. It does come out easily if you don't mind getting your arm red. It's a lot easier to remove this from the eye area, possibly because, you know, first of all, the eye area is uh, kind of wet all the time and I have oily eyelids, so I suppose that helps dislodge the thing. Uh, anyway, I don't have to rubber, rubber, rub like this on the eye area. It comes off a lot easier. But then, you know, this is very, very heavy duty. It's ideal, you know, if you're going swimming or something or if you're recording a video underwater or something, you know, very, very, very budge proof, this thing. All right, the whole thing's off now. And I have a rather uh, pink arm, which should subside, obviously, but, you know, that is a struggle. So, in order to remove this, the best solution would be a cleansing balm. It doesn't have to be this one. I just bought it for a hoot, uh, just to try it out. Emma Hardy's works well enough for me. So, is the Lifeliner the best eyeliner I've ever tried? I think there are other ones in the market that don't cost as much, that are decent enough definitely yeah i don't think anything else is as waterproof though uh and i don't think any of them would stay for 48 hours the way ling's eyeliner stayed if you want your perfect wing and you know if you want something with this kind of tip and you want a wing fun if you want something that's incredibly long wearing if you're going to you know uh, a festival or music festival or something you know coachella or something long hot humid day long hours of wear then and you don't want your eyeliner to budge then this might come in use even so i would say wait for a gift card 
wait for a discount code, wait for a sale of some sort, wait for a gift with purchase at least. Uh, there's a £25 uh, gift card in the Cold Beauty Advert calendar. Maybe you can snag this for free and still have £3 for something else. Uh, maybe, you know, you can buy it during Cold Beauty's next uh, discount code. And uh, uh, incidentally, discounts don't apply on Huda's lipsticks and eyeshadows and foundation. They do apply. As far as I know, the last time they did on eyeliners and things like that. It's a great eyeliner, it does very well. Mind you, I'm not taking away from this at all. It does very well. And if you get a discount card, a gift card, a discount code, a gift with purchase, then it becomes easier, worth it. Very good eyeliner. There are others out there that are not 22 pounds. That is my opinion. Right, so those are my honest thoughts on the Huda Beauty Life Liner. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do ring the notifications bell below to stay updated. And I will speak to you soon.